Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca and I create nail videos. In this month's video, I'm going to be doing another tortoiseshell tutorial. I do have a couple tortoiseshell tutorials on my channel already, but not a French tip version. I actually filmed this video a few months ago and never got around to posting it because I wasn't really back on YouTube yet. So um, I feel like tortoiseshell nails are kind of just a classic nail design that are going to stay relevant for any time of year and just are kind of a timeless look. So hopefully you learn something new in this tutorial, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So getting right into it, I'm going to go ahead and apply Put It In Neutral by OPI on all of my nails. I'm just doing a thin coat and I have already applied the Gel X um, extensions on all my nails. This is in the shape square and I believe it is medium length. Next, I am going in with this jelly orange color from Luxa. I will have everything listed below on the exact shades and everything. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I love this jelly orange for doing tortoise shell because it really gives you that glassy look. And once it's layered with the brown and the black, it doesn't look so orange. It looks a little bit more amber. So I am also using my McCart number no. two brush to just kind of go ahead and make out that smile line of the French. This part honestly doesn't need to be super neat since it is a jelly polish. You really can't see it very much. And I'm going to go ahead later and kind of straighten up the smile line. So right now I'm just applying a thin layer of that to just kind of get myself started. Next, I am taking this blooming gel also from Luxa, and I'm going to go ahead and place it exactly where I placed the previous orange jelly color. Also taking my McCart brush to make sure that I get that gel right up into the corners of the smile line, and always wiping the sides and the edge. Because this is a dispersion gel, it really kind of, um, the point of it is to kind of bleed and disperse out. So it's really helpful to wipe the sides to make sure that when you go ahead and go in with your art, it doesn't kind of like overflow over the sides. Next, I'm taking my McCart number no. one brush and this brown color from Madame Glam. And I'm just kind of like randomly making little brown blobs. Um, I have not cured that blooming gel yet. That is super important. And you can see as I go along that um, you're going to start to see the previous nail that I do kind of disperse and bloom out. Now, when I work with blooming gel, I only ever do two to three nails at a time. I didn't show it, but I did just go ahead and cure those two nails before going ahead and doing the next three. Um, and I'm just going ahead and doing the same step. So doing the blooming gel and then I'm going to do the brown blobs. Now, the reason that I only ever do two or three nails at a time when working with uh, blooming gel is because I don't want the brown to disperse so much that it kind of, you know, blends in with the jellied orange. I do still want them to look like spots so you get that tortoise shell effect, 
but um, you want them to disperse just enough where they are you know soft little blobs instead of harsh edges and then you want to lock them in place by curing So I went ahead and cured that layer and I'm going back in with another coat of my blooming gel. This time being a little bit less exact with it because I'm covering a smaller surface area. Still doing two to three nails at a time. Next I'm taking this black gel from OPI and I am going right on top of where I did those brown blobs. Again without curing the blooming gel first. I'm going right on top of it with the black to basically do exactly what I did with the brown, but just a lot more concentrated. Basically, the key to doing a really nice tortoiseshell design is to just build up a lot of layers and to use sheer gels and very thin layers while you're doing it. And I'm just going ahead and doing the same step with the blooming gel and the black blobs on the last two nails. Again, I went ahead and cured those first three before moving on to these two. I didn't show me curing, but I'm definitely going ahead and doing a full 60 second cure. And for the last layer of my tortoise shell, I'm going back in with one more sheer coat of that jelly orange. And I'm also um, going ahead and defining the smile line once again with the orange, although I am gonna define it further in my next step. I like to kind of basically encapsulate the tortoise shell with one more coat of the orange jelly. Um, I feel like this just gives it a little bit more depth and makes it look like the spots are within rather than sitting on top of the um, orange shade. And for my last step, I'm just taking a little bit more of this black OPI gel and really, really faintly lining the smile line. I'm not really trying to make an outline, I'm kind of just trying to make a shadow so that it's a little bit more defined. And my last step is just topping this all off with the Valentino Beauty Pure Non-Wipe Top Coat and a little bit of cuticle oil from Kiara Sky. But yeah guys, that is about it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and also what you would like to see from me next. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And head over to TikTok and Instagram to follow me over there for more content. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!